Welcome to a bicycle wheel lock. I was at a scrapyard today and found a nice bike that I took along. Attached to the bike was this lock, uh, including a key, and so I can show it to you. Yeah, it's a bicycle wheel lock. When uh, locked up, you can't drive away with your bike, but you first have to insert the key in a slot like this. And attention, it's very noisy gets unlocked and so you can drive away. It's key retaining and when you want to lock it back up the key shoots out and uh, yeah it's locked up and you can't drive away anymore. The key is uh, funnily shaped with this uh, with these steps here. Very nice, very funny and this hole here makes it uh, key retaining but it happens that just a very thin piece of metal like this, pushed in the front side here, can unlock the lock very easily. Um, it's not like picking, I think it's more like bypassing. Just need to find the sweet spot. Okay, here we go. <laughs> it's unlocked. Just a few seconds and uh, you're in. Yeah, um, I'm pretty curious to see how it looks inside, so as I don't want to reattach it to the bike, as I have better locks, I will take it downstairs and open it up and then we will look inside and see and learn how it works. So that's how it looks inside, but when I pried the lock open, some parts fell on me because of the spring tensions and I had to uh, put it at the right place to the best of my ability, hope this is all correct. So, yeah, let's get started. We have this round bolt here, this ring here, to lock up the, the wheel. Um, it slides inside a groove and there is this spring attached, so it's under spring tension. When you push it down to the locked up state, it stays under spring tension and when the locking mechanism releases the ring, it automatically retracts and that the locking mechanism can hold it in place at this position we have this cutout here and I zoom in for you for a close-up there is this lower plate with a cutout or with this with this shape to go in this cutout here and so you can see the bolt cannot retract because of this edge here uh, filling the cutout and, and so it's blocked. And there is also this spring, I think this is somehow attached like this, which pushes down on this on this plate. So now when we use the, the key, this second step here interfaces with the plate and pushes the plate up because of this slope here because of this angled cut and then the bolt or the, the ring can slide through and uh, give free the room uh, for the wheel. But um, there's a little bit more security because of this plate here. This goes on top of it and this bent piece here um, interfaces with this uh, cutout or with this step. So when the key would have no uh, very tip here, only the second step. It would not be possible, maybe I can show this to you with my bent piece of metal. So when you only try to, oh, it's very hard to demonstrate, when you only try to push on the lower part, it tries to go up, uh, but it, um, it, um, it, it's, blocked. it's blocked by this bent piece here so it cannot move up. Uh, it cannot move up unless the upper plate is moved out of the way which is the job of the very tip here. So the very tip here moves it to the left and gives room free for the lower plate to move up and yeah that's the job of this fancy cutout here on the on the tip uh, on the key with these uh, steps here but only the first and the second step is actually necessary, the rest is, well, for show. Yeah, pretty funny 
mechanism not very secure but very cheap. Um, actually I wonder how many different uh, keys there are, if they all look the same or if there are slight variations maybe in the uh, cut out uh, depths from the from the upper plate or so, I don't know. Well maybe this is um, a lock of the past and this is not made anymore, I at least hope so. Anyway, I um, hope you have enjoyed this little lock demonstration here. Yeah, and, and until we meet again, happy picking and bye-bye.